like somebody else who's out exploring this. This place is huge. Today we're in an abandoned China factory located about an hour outside of Pittsburgh, PA. Just boxes and boxes. Unbroken, fine china. That's incredible. Think about it. That's this is a hundred just on that stack right there. That's a hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars. Three hundred dollars. Four hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars. Six. Seven. Eight. One thousand. Two thousand. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. It's like a hundred thousand just in this room. Just in this one room. That's just crazy. A couple of these ones are broke, but literally almost all of them are unbroken. You want some tea, Governor? Over here, another seven, eight pallets. And that's just crazy to me, like. Why wouldn't they sell the rest of the product before they went out of business? Something bad must have happened. These ones are kind of cute. I like these ones. Man. There's the old forklift. An old Warehouse vehicle here. They got these tucked behind all of these pallets. Probably so somebody doesn't try to steal them. If you, if I wouldn't have climbed over here, I probably would have never even seen these things back here. Like this would have been with a a giant scale right here, where they would have weighed some china by the pallet. Looks like they have a smaller scale here. Maybe the way pieces or sets. Now this scale is amazing, guys. You don't see scales like this at all anymore at all. Literally. I mean, this is an old school scale. I love it. Again, guys, the amount of dishes. I just found probably another 100,000 dishes right here all ready to be shipped out to different restaurants, places, whoever their customers were. Literally, still saran wrapped on the pallet. Guys, I haven't even been through this whole place yet. We're only in one of the warehouses so far. And I'm gonna have to say, there's probably over a million dollars worth of merchandise still left here, easily. You gotta think, each one of these plates and cups and stuff, I mean, it's at least a couple dollars. This place is just absolutely massive. Like you got this building, this is where they produce the China. There's another building on the other side of it. Then you got this building over here. This is the building we were just in. That's the building where they shipped all the China out from the train tracks right over there. I mean, this place is massive. Oh, I'm guessing this was like the uh, lobby. Because this looks like front doors you would have came in right here. You probably would have sat here in some chairs or whatever. Because um, right there's the offices. Right there is how you get back to the warehouse, a hallway. I don't like graffiti, but that's pretty cool. I like that. Love. Got the train still sitting out there. Oh, stepped on some china. My bad. Forty-five piece, forty-nine ninety-five. $16.95. 
16 piece, 17.95. So yeah, they're about a little over a dollar a plate. This place is just absolutely massive. What's up? Wow. Some more office space. These looks like they might have been chalkboards or something at one point. Look at all of this china. There's the natural gas line here. But look at the sheer size of this warehouse, guys. Look how many pallets are behind. You guys weren't believing me earlier, but now I can show you all at once. Look how many boxes, barrels, unpacked china, unbroken, bags of brand new stuff, literally. Once again, guys, just crates on crates on crates. I mean, some of them are empty. Obviously, some of them are dumped all over the ground. I'm trying my best not to step on them, but it's pretty hard because they're literally everywhere. But the amount of fine shine on here, guys, is incredible. But whoever did this, I, I think it looks sick, so. I'm about to go up here to the second floor. See what we can find. Oh, these must have been the employees' cubby holes here. They put their belongings here for the day. Go out, produce some china, come back. I don't know why it's just satisfying to keep walking through this like this. Guys, these are all still in the box, ready to be shipped out. Brand new, literally just pallets of them. I mean, I know dishes aren't worth a lot of money, but you gotta think, even if each one of these is a dollar, I mean, there's a million dollars worth of china still left here, easily. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and work our way to the second building, located right over here. See what we can't find. Not sure what these were for a while. There's probably about a hundred, two hundred of them here. This was the oven. I'm guessing they used to cook the china or whatever. I'm not 100% sure on how the china making process works, but it's definitely an oven. It's definitely massive. And this entire room, guys, completely full of merchandise. Completely. I mean, it's going to be hard to even walk through here. I love when nature reclaims abandoned places. It's just cool to me. 
I'm not exactly sure what these racks were for. Staff plate. Staff plate. Another little control section. I'm guessing this was the manager's office over here. Manager of the warehouse. Here's the control boxes and stuff for the equipment that probably used to be in this room. Full pallets of china that are unbroken. Here's another elevator. I'm not sure what this is actually, this is a tunnel. I don't know if this is what they use to cook the china or what, this is weird. Maybe somebody else who worked in a china factory could tell me what this was used for. Look at those big tanks. Bunch of barrels. There's probably about 200 of these bags. 